where to oh. go. I'm a homeless tramp, me. You're right. Thinking... I'm calling on behalf of the client of mine. Yeah, Ian Black. Um, who was arrested um, and interviewed in front of one of your solicitors last year. Can I speak, can I speak to whoever's involved with the case, please? And your name, please? It's Ian Black. And uh, my client's name is Ian Black. Uh, I'm also uh, my British Association of Journalists, uh, number is 5692. This is being recorded for a documentary about corruption. Okay? Thank you. Yeah, I, yeah, it's uh, it's Ian Black here, uh, British Association of Journalists 5692. Uh, I was arrested and detained last year for harassment um, on a non-molestation order, which you obtained using false information from someone called Wolf Barclay. Now, I've recorded the whole series of events and I've put into a documentary, as I said I was going to. I was also interviewed in front of one of your solicitors, which you were aware that I was an ex-client that your client had represented, you had represented the client which had issued the false allegation against me. I'd like to know why you didn't declare that because obviously I'm going to be taking legal action against yourselves, Mr. Robinson and North Wales Police following the release of the documentary. So, well that's because you're corrupt isn't it? It's because you know that your client committed a murder. Hello, it's Ian Black here, uh, British Association of Journalists 5692. I've, um, um, well, first of all, do you accept um, reports of serious crime at North Wales Police anymore? Hello? Hi, sorry. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just wondering if I've, have I come to the right place to report murders, is what I'm asking. Yes. Okay, all right, because I've been trying to for the last three years. Now, uh, PC Sam Gostage has been uh, appointed to my case, but he's disappeared again and um, keeps saying he's trying to ring me when he isn't. I've got proof of that, by the way, the call register and the m multiple emails that I've sent. Now, I've just uploaded proof that North Wales police are corrupt and that they are supporting uh, a pair of uh, very serious criminals, one who's a practicing nurse and the other who works for the Kaya Park Partnership, Wilf Barclay. I've been emailing, including uh, Professional Standards, Channel 4 Investigates and various other news outlets for the last few days. I'm stopping now. Uh, I've, I've uploaded all the proof that I need that the family courts are corrupt and that the police are working with them. So could you just check? I'll give you the email address because I want to make sure I know that they're getting there because I'm getting... Everyone seems to be on holiday again, um, okay. which seems to be a pattern in North Wales Police. This is in the public interest and it is going to go out in a, in a documentary that I'm making. Can I have your collar number, please? Okay, but, but be aware that this is going ahead. It's in the public interest. I am a journalist and I was arrested, detained for three days last Easter, a year last Easter, illegally, unlawfully, based on the lies that Mr. Barclay has been telling, who I believe is a police informant based on my three year investigation into him. Okay. I'm recording this, obviously. This is going out as soon as we've finished. Hello, can I help you? Yeah, I just want to check that somebody is now responding to the emails. So, I've repeatedly asked North Wales Police to provide a facility for me to uh, upload my um, evidence to as the evidence I keep giving to various police officers seems to be disappearing or they're saying they can't access it. So, right. could you check my emails? My email address is DBE service. Sorry, I'll stop it. 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 I can help you personally. What's it regarding? Information oh, it's regarding police corruption and their links to organised crime, paedophilia, um, a murdering nurse in Wrexham and uh, an informant who has been um, gaslighting innocent people for the last three okay. years and issuing death threats. The police have refused to do anything about it. They keep saying they're going to, 
but um, I've been asking for the crime numbers. I've got a list of them all and the recordings of every phone conversation, video footage. I've got leaks from Roast Police Station of police officers Aaron Eagles, who has lost his job as a result of trying to help me in my investigations. And I've lost everything as a result. I was arrested unlawfully a year last Easter, transported from Huddersfield down to, to North Wales, uh, where I was assaulted by police officers. It's all recorded. So um, th this is all going out in a documentary, by the way. i just give you my, my, my BAJ number is 5692. Okay, and this is all in the public interest. I've sent them to Sam Gostage, who's gone on leave again. I was going, and I've sent, I've copied in Channel Four investigates. I've copied in professional standards who are investigating multiple cases. So they say, uh, the IOPC. I've, I've copied in loads. So if you check North Wales Police inquiries, you'll find copies of all my emails. Everything's on YouTube. Everything is going out on Netflix too soon. Okay. Okay. I, I won't be able to upset. I know I understand you can't, I just want to make sure that this is recorded and logged because it keeps disappearing and you're aware there's a problem with corruption in North Wales at the moment. Okay, yeah, I, I get what you're saying, that's fine. Of course. All I can do is, what's your name, is it Mr Black? It's Ian Black, yeah. Um, uh, okay. Could I just take your collar number just for com you know completion of this, that's all. Yeah. I'm a I, I understand it's, it's individuals that are causing the problem, it's not the whole force, so I intend to take civil actions against individuals. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, um, yes, obviously I can't plough through every email, every... It's, it, there's, there's actually more than 30 years worth to go through because it involves uh, a murder that, that occurred, well, a, a fraud that occurred between 85 and 95 in Chester and a murder that happened in 2016 that I know of. But my concern is that she's a nurse and she's got um, malignant uh, personality disorder. So malignant... Narcissistic personality disorder, schizophrenia, possibly agoraphobia, and a history of mental illness and of drug addiction. And nobody's taken me seriously because she f accused me of domestic abuse. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is, can I just ask? Have, have, can, I, can I have your phone number so, so we can continue, Mr. Black? Yeah, right? you can. What you must understand is I'm NFA now. I had my phones taken off me. That's one I've just managed to get hold of. And um, right. unless I'm on Wi-Fi, that's the only way you can get hold of me. I'm in a, a dodgy area, so if you do ring, please leave a message, yeah. and I will get back to you. You know. No problem. So, yeah, well, yeah, as I say, from my perspective, all I can do here is pass it on to a senior officer to get in touch with you uh, and discuss at length. Yeah, I understand that. I believe that I'm being darvoed. Um, I, I, I have got. Um, what, what you would call informants on the inside helping me out with leaks and stuff so um, okay. it, it does look like there is a pattern let's, let's put it that right. way yeah, no problem at all ok leave that with me Mr Black I'll pass and I'm hopefully somebody give you a ring ASAP and then try and make, make some sense tonight right. would be good because it is urgent she does need arresting or at least uh, interviewing and so do the witnesses which I've named multiple times um, but what I'm looking for initially is all of the crime numbers that you've got recorded so that I can compare them to the log that I've got of the ones I've put in and we can see the ones that are not being recorded. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is it your ex-wife you're afraid your ex-partner? She, she's my ex-partner. I was with her for uh, 28 years and then I finished with her in 2017. She then promptly, as I found out six months after I was made homeless, well, started making up stories to the doctors and, as it says on the, on the uh, uh, IOPC report, it says I was already a suspect. Now, I was unaware of this. She was a tenant in my house. That's all at that time. Right. Yeah. Okay. I've got proof of all this. I've got the emails. I've got everything, you know? Okay. What's her name, sir? Her name is Michelle Jane Leach, staff nurse. She works at the blood service, but previously she's worked at Upton and she trained at Shrewsbury 94, I'm afraid. I'm really, I'm really quite concerned because I know that she murdered her dad um, by poison over a long period of time. Um, I'm very concerned as to what else she might do. Now, the police advised me to inform um, her colleagues or to, to ring Betsy Cadwallader, which I did. Now, she used that in her non-molestation order against me. Right, okay. so, so I've well and truly been fitted up and the police are not supporting me in any way because it was a colleague uh, uh, called Carolyn from Two Osborne Cottages who rang the call in in the first place. Now, Carolyn is a, what's known as a flying monkey because Michelle had been working on her for quite a few years, it turns out. I noticed a change in the way she was with me. 
Um, by the way, I've done work for North Wales Police. I'm an EPOS uh, project manager. I've investigated multiple crimes over the years, so I know how to do it. Yes. Well, it is, and the compensation levels involved here are massive because I'm actually an actor as well, and they took me off a Bollywood film set um, right in the middle of a film I was making. So, um, yeah, I did say, but they just thought I was blowing smoke up their ass or whatever. The, you know, they laughed at me, thought I was a deluded. But I am an actor and a filmmaker, you know. Yeah, that would be lovely. It would it would uh, end a three year fucking nightmare for me. I tell you. All right. There we are. Thank you. Sure. All right then. Bye for now. Cheers. Bye. Take care.